Hi, my name is Steven. In the previous video, I reverse engineered a wireless charger using Zenimus 3D. It might look easy just by looking at the video on the YouTube or the clips, but actual reverse engineering is much harder than it looks. Today, I will show you what kinds of problems could be happen when you do the reverse engineering, especially focus on the filler function. The first thing I want to show you is the intersected part of the fillet and the chamfer function. The edges are intersected, so previously we did the fillet first and then did the chamfer, but what happens if you do the chamfer first and then do the fillet? The chamfer function looks fine, so we will do the fillet function. We can see definitely there's something wrong with the fill-up function. Multiple regions that might cause the problem when you do the fill-up function, but, but in this case, the fill-up function is not working because there's four or more than four surfaces that is attached to a one point. I tried lots of different options to figure out how, but in this case, I recommend you do the fill-up function first and then do the chamfer after. It's important to figure out which function you have to use first. An experienced engineer will definitely know which function has to become first. But if you are just a beginner, you have to try a lot to figure it out. And it is so important to experience all of that. But what if some cases that you cannot change the process and you still have to add some fillet on it? So in the previous video, I used the fillet function to get rid of sharp edges. At that time, I entered the 7mm to the chamber function. And, but if I enter 8 or above that, will cause 4 surfaces attached to a single point. So in this case, we have to do the surface modeling. Uh, as you can see, we tried to insert the fillet, but still doesn't work. DW3D is a hybrid model environment software. So you can use the solid and the surface function at the same environment. To tell you the difference between the solid and the surface modeling, solid modeling is you extrude a sketch or a wireframe to make a solid shape. The surface modeling is used by a curve lines to create the non-thickness surfaces. So to do this, we have to delete all the necessary surfaces. And I'm gonna fix that point by using a wireframe filler function to make a new edge of it. And then I'm going to use the trim to curve function to cut out the surface. So this will cut off the edges. You can see new points only have three surfaces attached to them. And after we have to fill up the gap, basic shape, we will use the ruled function. And then we will use curve mesh function to fill up the edges. I will definitely want to show you the details of the making surfaces, but today I will stick to the fillet function. I will unroll the video about the surface modeling in the future. So that makes nice new edges. Let's try to fillet this thing. And it seems nice. So that's it for today's video and I hope you liked it. There will be so many problems when you do the design. So if you are interested in, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next video. See ya.